My name is Vicki. I moved to Longmont in 2017, but I moved to Colorado in 2012 and spent six and a half years in the Eastern Plains working. I grew up in upstate New York, but I went to college in Virginia. And of all the places where I've been left or started alone, the culture shock of Virginia in 1965 just threw me for a loop. And I found I couldn't remain there because of the Jim Crow laws, segregation, uh, race baiting. Uh, I couldn't watch that. So I left that college after one semester. Since I've come to Longmont, I've had many opportunities to volunteer. I was a CASA, court-appointed special advocate for a young child. I worked as a victim's advocate for the police department. I currently am a tutor, a teacher for Intercambio, where we have students who come to learn English, and they come from all over the world and many different professions and occupations. I just adopted five weeks ago two cats because I lost my last dog in 2018, I think, and I just was desperate for an animal in the house. If I could be any animal, I'd like to be a yellow lab because they're the best animal on the planet. My favorite flavor of ice cream is black raspberry. My favorite movie is always The Godfather, part two. My favorite book, this is a very difficult and transitory answer. My favorites in the past have been The Thorn Birds. Uh, I just finished re reading Rachel Maddow's new book, Prelude, which I found to be exceptional. So it changes as I read new things. The scariest thing I've ever experienced is when I came to Colorado and I went to work out on the Eastern Plains, I was the pastor of a United Methodist Church. And in the town of Genoa, Colorado, it's an official ghost town in Colorado. There were 79 people living there when I went, but there were probably 10,000 snakes of every variety. And whenever I walked out of my house, there were snakes on the porch, snakes on the walkway, snakes in the grass. And it was the surprise of seeing all these snakes that just kept me terrified and in the house far too often. If I could have lunch anywhere in the world, and if I could ever find it again, I had a meal at a small pub in London, probably 50 years ago, and it served superb fish and chips, and it served an excellent apple pie uh, with pudding for dessert. It was so unusual, it was delicious. I would want to have lunch with Michelle Obama because she's so intelligent, she's so kind, empathetic, and always has a new perspective to put on different things. If I was to put a message in a bottle and shoot it out in space, the message would say, people of the galaxy look to the past don't repeat the same mistakes. Learn from them. As a resident of Longmont, I've got to meet so many people through the different volunteer organizations I've been part of. If I see you again, or if you see me, please say hi. I may not remember your name, but I remember our times together. Thank you. My name is Vince Devine. I've lived in Longmont my whole life, so 18 years.
My favorite thing about Longmont is going to Target with my friends uh, late at night. <laughs> I spend my time making music. I produce short films, all sorts of media, and I just like uh, creating in general. I do have a pet. I have one cat. My favorite flavor of ice cream is Rocky Road. I love the marshmallows in there. I hate mint chip. That's my least favorite flavor for sure. Tastes like toothpaste. My favorite food is probably like a nice, um, either a nice steak or some smoked salmon. Yeah, those are my favorite for sure. My least favorite food is probably mashed potatoes. I just hate the texture. My favorite movie is probably Mulholland Drive. If I could have dinner with anyone past or present, it would probably be David Lynch. Uh, he's impacted like the way I create media for sure. And I feel like he would have a lot of interesting stories to tell. My favorite book is The Stranger by Albert Camus. Uh, changed my life. If I could choose any car, I would get a 1990 BMW E30 M3. I just like the cube cars of that era. I think they're awesome. If I could be any animal, I would choose to be a giraffe because I'm already kind of tall in real life. And I think being even taller would be pretty sweet. If I could choose to spend a couple months anywhere, I would choose to go to Italy because I really like all the architecture and art that's there. If I could be stuck in an elevator with someone for an hour, I'd probably want to be stuck in an elevator with my girlfriend. <laughs> if I could bring a couple items to a deserted island, I would bring... Does a dog count? <laughs> I don't know if that's an item. I'd bring a dog and a iPad. <laughs> Given the choice between going to the moon or the bottom of the ocean, I would choose the moon easily, dude. The bottom of the ocean scare is super scary. And uh, yeah, you ever, that submarine just exploded like a month ago and I would not want to be on that submarine. So definitely the moon. The most pleasant memory I have is when I first got my driver's license and I was able to fully explore by myself. So the only time I've ever really been lost physically was probably when, you know, as a child getting lost at the supermarket. That's really the only thing I can think of. If I could choose between going into the past or the future, I would definitely choose the future. I just want to see, you know, what we've created and how far we've come and see if this whole thing is still working out at that point. I feel like I have seen a UFO. Um, I don't know, just in Colorado, there's a bunch of fields with cows and definitely some UFOs could come and take those things away. If I had a chance to put a message in a bottle and send it out into outer space, I would just simply say, hello. Bye Longmont, thank you for having me. It's been a great 18 years here. My name is Audrey Atkinson. I've lived in Longmont since September of 2020. And there are a lot of things that I love about Longmont. One of the things that I love the most is how genuinely kind the people here are. I, I could feel the community of this town years ago when, when I first visited. And every visit since then and since I've moved here, I see genuine kindness almost everywhere I go, every day. I like to spend my time meeting people. A lot of that has to do with my job. I have my real estate license, but I genuinely like to meet new people. Everyone has an interesting story here. My favorite restaurant in Longmont is a toss-up between blue corn tacos, uh, the guy is a genius, and there's a, a mushroom breakfast taco that I love. And then also, uh, I love Pistachio Cafe. My favorite flavor of ice cream uh, alternates between pistachio and chocolate. I don't believe I have a least favorite ice cream. I've, I've genuinely enjoyed everything that I've tried. My favorite movie, I have several. I, if I want to watch a romantic comedy. I like to watch French Kiss. That's kind of a comfort movie for me. If I want action, I'll watch Ronin. Um, 
And there are several others that I, I go to time and time again. My favorite book is A Moving Target. Whenever I read something new that I love, I can't shut up about it. But I will say I have read The Old Man and the Sea on an almost yearly basis for a few decades now. If I could be any animal for a day, I would like to be a hawk because I would be able to experience the exhilaration of flight under my own power. Have I ever found myself in a place where I was just completely physically lost? All the time. Less now that we have GPSs on our phones, but yeah, that was my default is wandering around, wondering where the heck I was. If I could choose to spend a couple of months anywhere, I haven't been everywhere, but of the places I have been, I would choose France because I just love the food, the cuisine, the people, the history, the architecture, all of it. If I could only bring a couple of things with me to a deserted island, I would choose my one true vice, which is a lifetime supply of Diet Cola, and uh, cooking utensils and the means to start a fire. If I had to be stuck in an elevator for an hour with anyone, you know, I have <laughs> so many good friends, uh, any one of my friends. I have never seen a UFO, but I do keep looking. If I could put a message in a bottle and shoot it into space, the message would say, this is a beautiful planet, but the humans are crazy. My favorite memory is from when I was probably 10 or 11 years old. I used to spend summers with my grandmother, and I could always make my grandmother and my two aunts, who were still living at home, laugh. The scariest thing I've ever experienced was when my ex had a stroke, and uh, for several hours I thought I'd lost her forever. She's fine now. If I had to choose between going into the past or going to the future, I would choose the past and I would go back to the first Earth Day with proof that I was from the future and let them know that they're on the right track, but we really need to get serious about the environment. In conclusion, I would like to say I'm so fortunate to live here in the Front Range where people are genuinely kind we have the gorgeous Rocky Mountains, and I'm having the best time of my life in my early 60s. Bye.